The film starts with a woman, Sadie Rhodes, Ana de Armas, driving when she gets a phone call from her therapist. She is lamenting the recent loss of a co-worker, Eva, and the therapist tells her to take steps to move on. Sadie tells her she will stop for groceries. At a nearby farmer's market, Cole Turner, Chris Evans, is running a shop for herbs. His friends and co-workers think Cole is still feeling bad over a recent breakup and try to encourage him to step outside his comfort zone. Sadie shows up moments later to buy a houseplant from a nearby vendor, but Cole steps in since the vendor took a break to get high. Cole and Sadie start talking, though it leads to an argument over which type of houseplant she should get since she tells Cole that she is not usually home because of work. The other vendor comes back and urges Cole to go after Sadie, so he does and tries to apologize before inviting her out for a coffee, which Sadie agrees to. Cole and Sadie go on a date where they get coffee, go to a museum, and he shows her the steps featured in The Exorcist. They go to a karaoke bar later, where Sadie performs, but after she signs Cole up, he refuses to go due to shyness. Cole brings Sadie home, but they have a mutual attraction to one another, so he spends the night with her. Cole later goes to his family's farm to visit his parents, Tate Donovan and Amy Sedaris, and younger sister Maddie, Lizzie Broadway. It has been a couple of days since Cole has heard from Sadie, and he has already texted her a lot, so Maddie thinks Cole has already scared her away, and she is ghosting him. He genuinely believes Sadie is the one, but his parents and sister remind him that he doesn't take risks and has not even left the country. Cole then realizes he left his inhaler in Sadie's bag, and since he has tracking tiles on most of his items, he finds that Sadie is in London. He decides to make a big romantic gesture to surprise her there. Cole travels to London, where he tries to reach the location on his tracker app. He is brought to London Bridge, where three big goons find him and knock him out before abducting him. Cole wakes up underground being interrogated by a villain called Borislav, Tim Blake Nelson. He and his men think Cole is an agent known as the Tax Man, and that he has a top-secret code that Borislav wants. He tries to torture Cole for info by using murder hornets, but the door blasts open, and an armed assailant kills Borislav and his men. The assailant turns out to be Sadie, who is a secret agent and also the real tax man. She gets Cole out and has her follow him. Sadie shoots more bad guys coming after them before they make it above ground to the Khyber Pass. Sadie commandeers a tourist bus with Cole as more villains go after them. She drives the bus backward as they chase after her, only to end up shot or blown up. Two villains make it onto the bus, and Cole kills one by stabbing him in the face with a cactus, intended to be a joke gift for Sadie, and knocking him out of the bus over a cliff, while Sadie shoots the other one and makes him fall. They proceed to escape, but elsewhere, a disgraced French intelligence operative named Levesque Adrian Brody and his henchman Wagner, Mike Moe, receive intel on Cole, as they really believe he is the tax man and has the code that they want for a bioweapon known as Aztec. Levesque has a bounty put on Cole's head to be brought in alive. Cole walks with Sadie, arguing over him, thinking she lied to him when she counters that he was being too needy. She also admits that she killed Elena because she turned out to be a rogue agent. They take a ride to a nearby town in Pakistan to meet a contact of Sadie's named Marco Marwan Kanzari. He thinks he and Sadie have a romantic history, though she denies it, and he also mentions how he lost a hand for helping her as a warning to Cole not to get attached to her. Sadie pays Marco to help send Cole back to the US so she can continue her mission. Just as Cole and Sadie are about to part ways, Marco is killed by a bounty hunter calling himself grandson of Sam, Anthony Mackey. He is set to collect the bounty on Cole, only for another bounty hunter called the Leopard, John Cho, to shoot grandson and take Cole and Sadie with him into his car. Then another bounty hunter called God the Bounty Hunter, Sebastian Stan, snaps Leopard's neck and makes Cole and Sadie drive. When he escorts them at gunpoint, God the Bounty Hunter is run over by a barely alive grandson. Before he dies, grandson tells Sadie where the bounty is supposed to be delivered. On their way, Cole mentions the passcode, to which Sadie explains to him what Aztec is and that Elena knew the passcode before she was killed. Sadie comes up with a plan to trick Levesque by taking Cole in like a hostage that they need alive. They board a plane with Wagner as he tries to unlock Aztec from a briefcase that Levesque was in possession of. 
Unfortunately, Cole and Sadie's plan goes awry when Wagner finds a selfie that Cole took of himself and Sadie in bed while she was asleep. She is disturbed but ends up fighting off Wagner and the other henchmen before Cole grabs a parachute and jumps out with an injured Sadie and Aztec. The two land on an island, where Cole uses the parachute as a tent and patches up Sadie's stab wound with nearby herbs. While they set up camp for the night, Cole talks about why he never travels, using his parents as an excuse and claiming they need him, while Sadie reveals that her mom passed away when she was young. The two appear to be reconnecting their romance. The next morning, Wagner sends goons to the location where Cole and Sadie have been tracked. They make a run for it but are saved by other CIA agents, who take them both into headquarters. Cole and Sadie are put into a room for a lie detector test, where Sadie admits that it was a mistake to save Cole's life since she values her work over personal relationships. When Cole is met by another agent separately, he shows Cole pictures of Sadie's kills, but one picture catches his eye. It's of Elena's corpse, but above her is a houseplant that was used by ancient Aztecs, meaning that the genetic sequence of this plant is, in fact, the code for Aztec. Cole agrees with the agent's plan to use him to lure Levesque by having him continue to pretend to be taxman. Levesque gets the first part of the passcode, which Wagner confirms works. Levesque is feeling increased pressure to deliver Aztec to his buyer, Mr. Yutami, Stephen Park, who threatens to have Levesque killed if he fails him. The agents set up a meeting between Cole and Levesque to take place in a rotating restaurant. Yutami joins them, with the plan almost failing when Cole doesn't have the passcode, but Sadie shows up and reveals herself as taxman to the villains. They get the briefcase open, and she receives her payment, but she then issues a $10 million bounty on Levesque to get them out. A bunch of bounty hunters then step up and aim their guns at Levesque, prompting the other patrons to flee. Soon, a fight breaks out, and the restaurant starts rotating too quickly. Sadie briefly runs into an ex, a one-eyed bounty hunter named Jonas, Ryan Reynolds, who tries to tell her that she changed his life, but she is distracted by the big fight. Cole fights Wagner, which ends with him throwing Wagner into a rotating gear mechanism that crushes him. Levesque tries to get out with Aztec after killing Yutami. Cole, Sadie, and Levesque get thrown against the windows, which start breaking under pressure. Sadie shoots a small tower that falls on top of Levesque, sending him falling to his death. Sadie manages to grab Aztec before it falls out, and she and Cole kiss. Later on, Cole brings Sadie to meet his family. Three months later, he joined her on missions by taking in targets for information, starting with an arms dealer named Raul Dexter Fletcher. But first, they enjoy a museum date. No.